Emory Head has a lot of features to allow you to have realistic operations, like um, a high quality panel and moving gates and restraints that you can lower. So to add a panel, I'm going to click Edit Rides, select my coaster, Open Zones, click Station, and then you'll see that you can spawn a panel for the station. And panel spawned over here. I'm just going to drag it over to the station. Set it down right there. And so you don't have to do anything else. This panel is already configured to work with the station. If you want to restrict who can use the panel, there's two ways to do it. One choice is to go to a group. If you want this group to be um, rank locked for the panel, let's say I want this rank and higher to be the only ones who can use it. I'll copy the group ID, paste it into group ID, and copy this ranks ID, or role rank or whatever, and paste that into the group minimum rank slot. And now only members of this group that are this role or higher will be able to use the panel. To disable this, set both values to zero. Or if I have a team in here, and I want only people teamed to this to be able to use the panel, I just click team, click value, and select the team. And so if this is set, only members of this team will be able to use the panel. So those are the two options to restrict who can use the panel. And um, this also restricts who can lower restraints. Only people with these permissions can. And so if I want to reset this, I just set this to nothing and set these two to zero. And now anyone can use the panel and restraints. So now I'm going to hit Alt-P to publish. And I'll load up the game. You can see I have the panel now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the ride mode to manual, which means that it won't dispatch unless you tell it to. And it also won't raise restraints or operate the gates or anything. So just to familiarize you with the panel a little bit, the middle screen shows the trains and their cars positions along the track, and it shows you the entire track as you've colored it. So back there is train 2, so you can see it right here in the diagram. Over here you can select the ride mode between manual and auto. I'm going to keep it on manual for now. This panel shows the trains in their restraint states. So they're all green because all the restraints on this train are locked. But if I click restraints to unlock them, now they're all red. And if I lower these two by clicking on them, now they're locked while the rest of the train isn't. I lower them, they're all green again. When dispatch is flashing, that means you can dispatch, but that also means you're able to operate the gates. This just means that the station is ready. You can do pretty much anything. You can only use the restraints when the light is on. This will also usually be when dispatch is flashing. To e-stop, press the e-stop button, and these will be flashing. And you'll see that dispatch has stopped flashing. You cannot dispatch, but you can use the gates and the restraints. And then to disable e-stop, just click the e-stop reset button. If I leave the restraints up and or gates open and click dispatch, the system will close it all for you. And now you can watch as train one leaves the station on this diagram. And as soon as it clears the station block, train 2 will start rolling in. If you set it to automatic, the system will do everything for you. You can see the auto light is now flashing. Train 1 is climbing the lift hill at a reasonably fast pace now at the full lift speed value because train 2 has cleared the final brake block. But if train 2 is still in it, it will only be going about 50% speed off the lift. 
So now this will park. And the first thing it will do is raise restraints and open the unload gates. And then it will wait 10 seconds and close the unload gates and open the load gates. And then it will wait at least five seconds. And if your minimum dispatch time is passed, then it's gonna close the gates, close the restraints and dispatch. If you wanna lengthen this time, just go to your station and increase the minimum dispatch time. Let's say I set it back to manual. And I click e-stop. Train two will stop right there. And if I reset it, can't click this again to reset it, you have to click e-stop reset. Train two will continue on its way. Notice that you can't use the gates while there's no train parked in the station. So train one's about to complete the course and Notice that train 2 is climbing slowly because the next block is currently occupied. You can see all the blocks here. Now train 2, or train 1, has hit the brakes and is going to um, commence the slow roll into the station. And as soon as it clears that block, train 2 will pick up on the lift, assuming it hasn't stacked by that point. And now it's going to increase in speed just as it was about to stop. So it made it just in time. Grab this manual, train one will come in and park. And as soon as everything's available, you'll see the panel light up. So the dispatch will flash, restraints will be solid. When you click it, the light flashes. But when it's available, it is just a solid light, see? Open will obviously flash when the gates are open. And the flashing will not happen when they're closed. And then whenever you're ready, you can just click dispatch as long as that's flashing. And it will stop flashing. And there it goes. That's pretty much all there is to it. You can rank lock them, or the controls, as I showed you earlier. And the panel is pretty simple. Um, I'd say it has a good amount of features, but it shouldn't be terribly difficult to learn. It, really, anyone can figure this out. So that's all there is to operating, and good luck.